welcome back to my channel so i'm currently away at the moment i am in cyprus and i thought i would do a very quick get ready with me where i will just literally show you the products that i would use on holiday which are going to honestly condense your bag when you're traveling i'm not holding a mirror so if you see my eyes flip from like camera to this direction is because i'm actually looking at myself um to see myself in the camera and make sure that everything's cool so i'm just getting ready now to go out don't judge me i actually forgot to bring moisturizer to cyprus with me. i did get one from out here and i have put that on my face now thing is if you guys can see i've actually got a lot of texture um my skin has got really really dry which doesn't usually happen but even around my mouth almost looks like i've got like eczema but anyway so I'm gonna be using face and body and I've got it in C6. Um, this is just a really nice golden tan color. I will match it to my chest. It's just one of those easy products. If you saw my first YouTube video, you would have seen that this was literally one of my favorite foundations. Oh, and I'm using um, my brush set, which at the moment is actually, for the whole set, 49% off. So, the original price was 89 and now the whole set for 10 brushes and the case is, is it 45 Yeah, 45 45 pounds. I know I spoke about this in my last video, but if you did miss it, the reason why I love face and body is because it doesn't accentuate texture at all. So where I said I had those dry patches, it's not gonna sit on them and be like making it look worse. If anything, it makes it look better because it's a water-based product. So if you do have any texture to your skin, this is a great product for that. It evens out skin tone and yeah, and gives that nice glow. And it's just literally matched me now to my chest because my face takes a bit longer to get tan, even though it's got a tan, it's not as um, dark as my body. So I'm now gonna go in with my hourglass and I'm using shade June. And I don't like to use a lot, just because I actually like a bit of the cheek to come through and a bit of that tan. I actually love natural light is just the best. It's, um, I'm so glad I brought June out with me because I also brought Beach. But now Beach just looks so, so light. And I'm not a girly who likes really light concealer. If anything, this is quite bright, so. a little pimple. Do you know what? I've had that for ages actually. It's gone into a bit of a mark. And I'm just gonna do my eyelid a little bit. Okay. Now I have put my foundation on and concealed. I'm gonna go in with the Chanel. And this is in the shade 395 Soleil, Soleil Tan Deep Bronze. Just gonna swirl that around. And basically like blend it what while I'm applying it I'm like blending it in and it almost I'm bringing it from the forehead down and it looks like it's just turned into a really natural tan rather than like an intense contour one of my favorite things is to put it on my eyelid as well I don't know if it's because I'm in a hot country, but I always find that this bronzer is so nice out here. And I, don't, I think it's because it's not, the formula turns slightly softer because I guess it's melted. So it feels so much smoother to apply than when I'm say in London and it's cold and it gets kind of hard. If you find that it's just a bit too harsh the line, just get your foundation brush and 
press over it and it will just soften that out. And go with my jaw. And around my nose. For my blush, I've been using Joy by Rare Beauty. It's such a nice sun-kissed colour. It literally is like sun. Sun in a tube. Do you see how this foundation, I showed you I had texture and it's almost got rid of that texture. Whereas most foundations would highlight the texture. I don't actually like to use too much powder, but I am gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills banana and I just pop it under my eyes. And to be honest with you, where I am a little bit dehydrated at the moment, it's like whatever I'm putting on is kind of like sucking into my skin. So I'm not putting too much powder. For bronzer, this is my favorite one to take on holiday with me. It's the Hoola by Benefit and it's in the shade Toasted. Just go into the cheekbones. I think it's because it has that slight ready undertone to it. it mimics more of like a sun tan. And then the forehead. I also use this for my eyes as well, just to bronze them up a bit. I think it's the most beautiful like transition shade. So nice. I'm using the Kosas and this is the medium brown brow gel. I kind of just like brush it back and forth to get a bit of colour on the brows and then pull up but nothing too crazy because it's literally so quick to be fair my eyebrows get a bit light in the sun And a bit of Rare Beauty blush just up for the lower lashes. Because otherwise, with such a full set on top, I feel like it looks slightly unbalanced. But it depends. Some people like that kind of doughy look where it's just focused on the top. Oh no. Never panic when you get mascara on your face and wipe it straight away because it'll be wet and it will smudge. Just let it dry and literally it will just kind of like flick off. Now going in with my favorite new blush, the Red Beauty Enjoy. So beautiful. And I love to just put a little bit over my nose. For lips, I've been loving this combo. So I'm just using Anywhere Caffeine. And I'm kind of like coloring my lip in. Such a beautiful color. And I've been using the Faux Filler by Huda in Foxy. It's like the perfect uh, 
brownie peach. Guys, that is a very, very quick, speedy holiday glam. You still look glowy, you look sun-kissed, you don't need loads of products, and it's super fast. I hope you like this quick tutorial and it will make your getting ready a lot faster. I have popped all the products below and the colors that I've used if you want them for reference. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and turn your notifications on. Thank you so much guys for your support and sending you lots of love. Mwah.